Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of limits. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us let P equals limit x tends to 0 plus and the expression given to us is 1 plus tan square root x raised to 1 over 2x. Then the question is asking us to find the value of log p. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us, they are half, 1 over 4, 2, and 1. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us. So first, let's talk about the expression given. p is given to us as limit x tends to 0 plus. And the expression given to us is 1 plus tan square root x raised to 1 over x. So if I take log on both sides, I get log p is equal to log of limit x tends to 0 plus 1 plus tan square root x raised to 1 over 2x. Now once I have that log here, I can just take that log on the inside and taking out limit out. So limit extends to 0 plus, I can just take that log of 1 plus tan square root x raised to 1 over 2x. Now once I have this, I know the identity that says 1 plus tan square theta, it is nothing but 6 square theta. So if I just use that idea, I get limit extends to 0 plus log of sec square root x raised to 1 over 2x. Now if I just use the idea of logarithmic property, log a raised to b, I can write that as b log a. So I can take this ahead. So it comes in the base and becomes log p equals limit x tends to 0 plus 1 over 2x and log of sec square root x. So basically the idea I have used here to apply the formula of logarithms is log of a raised to b, I can write that as b log a. So that's the whole idea and that makes it log of p e equals to limit x tends to 0 plus 1 over 2x log of sec square root x I can again use the idea of logarithms to write log of sec root x the whole square. So that 2 comes ahead. So you get limit x tends to 0 plus 2 ahead. That makes it 2 over 2x and log of sec root x. So 2 gets cancelled and you're left with log p equals to limit x tends to 0 plus and you get log of sec root x over x. Now once you have it in the form of numerator over denominator and you put x as 0 here, you get it in the form of 0 over 0. So log of 0 is already not defined and you are also dividing it by 0. So when you have this indeterminate form here, you can use the idea of L'Hopital's rule. So if I use L'Hopital's rule and take the derivative of numerator and denominator separately, so using L'Hopital's rule here, you get log p equals to limit x tends to 0 plus. Taking the derivative of the numerator, you get 1 over sec root x into derivative of sec root x which is sec root x into tan root x into derivative of root x which is 1 over 2 root x right and the derivative of denominator if you see that is nothing but derivative of x which is 1 so you get that as 1 so if i solve this further i get log p equals to limit x tends to 0 plus your numerator sec root x gets cancelled out. You are left with just tan root x 
over 2 root x and once you get that you apply the limit now you just get that as tan of 0 which is tan root x over 2 root x which is 2 into 0 again 0 so tan 0 is 0 this is also 0 so further if i apply l'hopital's rule i get that as limit extends to 0 plus 6 square root x into 1 over 2 root x and this becomes 2 root x derivative again 1 over 2 root x. So you get this 1 over 2 root x cancelled from both sides and you're left with limit extends to 0 plus denominator is 2 and you have in the numerator 6 square root x. So now if you put that 0 here and apply the limit you get 6 square 0 which is 1 and the denominator has 2. So that makes the answer for the question as half. And if you see the answer choice that matches with option A. So A becomes a correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of finding the limits of a question. So we just use the idea of trigonometry and then we use L'Hopital rule two times to find the derivative of numerator and denominator separately till the time we get a determinate form and once we get the determinate form here we just applied the limit so that gave me x square 0 that is 1 and denominator 2 which is 2 so you get the answer matching with option a i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on jwe mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of JWE mains so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.